no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> Hello, modelers. Um, been wanting to get back into uh, building a 40k army for a while now, and I've always had. Uh, a fascination with the Tyranids so picked up some Termagants from my friend Ann at Discount Game Store and some bases from Secret Weapon and that uh, decided uh, that I was going to go with the High Fleet Kraken color scheme so this is the Termagant model I'm going to use some uh, light tan or light brown um, you can also use the Vallejo model air bone because Kraken has a uh, tan red color scheme. I'm going to use some gory red. You can also use anything comparable from GW, but this is my preferred paint line right now. Everything from Vallejo um, is fairly consistent. So I'm going to stick with them for a little bit. Uh, and just uh, use the red to put a good coat down on the carapace. You'll notice that I'm getting pretty good coverage with my my first coat. I've only watered it down just a little bit. I think the mix that I'm using here is uh, about one drop of water per three drops of paint, maybe four drops. It was just enough to improve my flow a little bit. We'll get the carapace over the legs. I chose the High Fleet uh, Kraken because I'd painted them before. I'd started a Kraken army and, um, and decided I didn't want to paint that many uh, models because most of the Tyranid forces you're seeing out there have got you know, a crap ton of termagants or some kind of gants. I'm just going to take my time painting them and uh, make each one a little different or unique. I think I kind of wanted to um, do each brood uh, a little bit differently. Maybe put, you know, black hooves on one, little different color nuances and things like that. I don't know. Just going to have some fun with it. I've also got a Skaven army for Warhammer Fantasy that I never play, uh, but for some reason uh, I'm, uh, I'm attracted to these Horde armies. For me, the most important thing is to have fun. Uh, enjoy the process of painting and, and uh, coming up with new techniques and things like that along the way is just enhances the journey for me. Sounds deep, doesn't it? Deep Thoughts by Engineer Jeff. And we're gonna go down here and paint his claws and the hooves. And rumor has it that we're going to be getting a new codex here soon for this army and a bunch of new models so that also inspired me to get going on some of these regular troop models so i'm pretty sure they're not going to change those then again who knows it's games workshop they could surprise us all don't forget these little um, i call them the dew claw hooks And that's what we've got so far. It's going to take some of this Escorpina green. And we're going to paint these little vents or whatever they are. Maybe somebody can post in the comment field down below what these things actually are. Uh, I haven't had my codex in ages. And I just know these things look good in this color green. 
There's a lot of them, so don't be surprised if you miss one. I know I did. I missed several of them. I had to keep going back and touching this up. Thank God for creative editing. I'm looking at it, it almost looks like I missed a, a sprue or something there. Oh well, live and learn. And we'll get the other side. Should end up with something like that. So we're going to use some orange fire and I'm going to mix it in uh, probably a one-to-one -one ratio and just hit the edges. Um, don't be too concerned about brush strokes or anything because basically all we're doing here is just getting some color down. And you see I'm just using the brush to move the paint into the position that I want it to be in. Um, it's going to look a little crazy here after a while, but just bear with me. Everything will make sense at the end. You want to make sure that your paint is thinned down good and you're not uh, running with like a fully loaded brush. I always unload the brush a little bit, um, just wipe it on the edge of the palette so I don't, uh, you know, overflow into the recesses. This is all just going on the, the, the leading edge of the, the bone, the carapace here. a little like that. Again, it looks kind of crappy right now, but as we add more to it, it'll look a lot better. So we're going to get some gold yellow, and I like to mix it in with the, the bone white. And we're going to make little tiny brush strokes. You're really going to want to make sure the brush is not fully loaded with paint on this one. Just make little tiny strokes here. Right on the leading edge or the trailing edge depending on what direction you're going. And if you make a mistake that's okay you can go back in with red later to uh, clean it up. This is a, one of the more painstaking things to do for these models, for the Tyranids. I found it really adds to the model. Just keep working your way up the carapace. Little strokes, little brush strokes. Should get something that looks a little like that. Again, it looks really busy right now. What we're going to do here, once we get all the colors laid down, is we're going to give it a little dip.
just have fun with this. Um, if you make a mistake, then go back with a little bit of red and, and uh, touch it up. These are t termagants. They're going to die in droves anyway. Should end up with something like this. I'm a big fan of uh, dipping for like large batches of models. What I'm going to use here is this Minwax Poly Shade. Uh, I got this for five bucks. Uh, it's the antique walnut. You can also use the Army Painter Quick Shade. It's pretty much the same thing in my experience. Um, this has a little more of a, a black undertone to it, whereas the Minwax is kind of a soft brown. Dig out your pliers and a screwdriver or something to open the can. You also want to do this in a fairly well ventilated area. It's not too stinky, but just be safe. Don't do this on your kitchen table either because it makes a royal mess if you get it on anything. It's a lot easier to use um, to do the dip if you've got a regular base. One of the problems with the secret weapons bases is they're just big and bulky. It's all cast out of one piece. So you have to dip it holding it like that instead of re getting in and actually holding the lip of the base like you can with the regular GW bases. Get a good dip. something like that. Now I'll take a brush and like an old brush or something I don't I don't care if I destroy and I'll go in and I'll clean up areas where the um, the, the uh, dipping medium is kind of pulled up and after it dries it takes about six to eight hours I go through and hit it with a dull coat I personally use Tester's Dull Coat, but you can also use Krylon. Any other, your, you know, your mileage may vary. Just use what you're comfortable with. So you want to take some bone white and mix it in with any other regular white. And I'm just going to touch up the teeth here. I do a little bit of post dip cleanup try to bring up some highlights. I'm going to take the Escarpina green and we're going to paint the eyes. And I'll also use the this green to um, go in and touch up the vents or whatever we're going to call these. Going to make them pop a little bit. Take some bone white. We're going to do some edge highlighting on the carapace. Just make little brush strokes here. Um, don't want to get too crazy with it, but if again, if you mess something up or you don't like the way something looks, you can always go back in with with red later. And actually, I did quite a bit on this one. Uh, it's just kind of a back and forth kind of thing, trying to see what looks right in my eye, anyway.
We should end up with something that looks a little like this. So I noticed I'd missed some of these elbow joints and I wanted them to pop so I took some Freak Flex red tint. It's also, uh, I think it's pretty similar to the Ghost Tints by uh, Minotaur line. It's a nice um, transparent paint. And I went back in and, and touched those up. In hindsight, it probably would have been a better idea to do that pre-dip, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Here's some still shots. I'd like to thank uh, my buddy Dan at Discount Game Store for the models. Uh, got a pretty good deal on them. You can check him out in the links down below. Also got my secret weapons base. Here's uh, like my test Tyranid that I tried out. This is the very first one I painted prior to doing the video. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, of course, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Got a lot more Tyranids to paint.